A huge number of well-known people disgraced themselves during the two years of the Russian collusion hoax, but two of them stand above the rest, former CIA chief John Brennan and former FBI director Jim Comey. We expect lawmakers to grandstand on flimsy pretexts. That's what they do for a living. We don't expect much of anything from the news media. They're toadies and buffoons. But our most powerful bureaucrats are supposed to be, they need to be impressive. They have a lot of control over this country and the people who live here. We need them to be fair and smart and level-headed. John Brennan has shown himself to be none of those things. During his years serving Barack Obama, Brennan was known mostly for lying. Under Trump, he's become a full-blown, wild-eyed conspiracy nut. He is feeding and fueling uh, hatred and animosity and misunderstandings among Americans. I use the term that this is nothing short of treasonous because it is a betrayal of the nation. He is giving aid and comfort to the enemy. Treasonous is defined as a betrayal of trust as well as aiding and abetting the enemy. And so that was the word that came to my yeah. mind. Uh-huh. Jim Comey, meanwhile, is smarter than John Brennan, not that that's hard. But he's a political partisan, something that no FBI director should ever be. At times, his judgment has been bizarre. Watch him, for example, suggest that the most lurid portions of the obviously fake SEAL dossier might, in fact, be real. Honestly, never thought these words would come out of my mouth, but I don't know whether the, the current president of the United States was with prostitutes peeing on each other in Moscow in 2013. It's possible, but I don't know. These people are a joke. Those are the two most powerful unelected bureaucrats in Barack Obama's government, and you would not hire them to run a CVS. They are idiots. They're self-aggrandizing narcissists who believed an absurd story about a pee tape that ran on some cat blog, and they're not alone. Congressman Adam Schiff is still rambling on like a mental patient about Russian conspiracy. From the public, you might think it's okay that their only disappointment after that meeting was that the dirt they received on Hillary Clinton wasn't better. You might think that's okay. I think it's immoral. I think it's unethical. I think it's unpatriotic. And yes, I think it's corrupt and evidence of collusion. Immoral, unethical, unpatriotic. People didn't used to talk like that, particularly those who are already all three. But it's not just Adam Schiff. The rest of his party is already joining the new conspiracy theory, and it's this. Bill Barr, the attorney general, may look like a decent guy. In fact, a living stereotype of the traditional moderate Republican, but looks deceived. In fact, Barr is an enemy operative, a Putin stooge working secretly for Mother Russia. He cannot be trusted. For Mr. Barr to quickly issue a four-page report in his attempt to try and exonerate President Trump, has too much of the odor of political expediency to help the man who appointed him, President Trump. So if Chuck Schumer says it, you can be sure the entire herd of brainless Democratic presidential candidates say it too. I'm deeply troubled by Barr himself, one of the reasons I voted against him. I mean, he, he should have recused himself, in my opinion. So I have a lot of problems with uh, Barr. Do you trust Barr's judgment? Uh, on obstruction here? No. <laughs> no. I think what uh, the attorney general did is undermine the purpose of the special counsel's job. And I think Speaker Pelosi is quite right when she says it was not only arrogant, um, but very disrespectful. You know, it's really hard to overstate how dumb this is. We're searching for the words. We know a lot about Bill Barr. He's been in the public eye for 40 years. He was the attorney general under George H.W. Bush. He gave money to Jeb Bush's 2016 campaign. In fact, it's hard to imagine that Barr even voted for Donald Trump. Not his kind of guy. And yet now, for some reason, Bill Barr has developed such a deep loyalty to Donald Trump that he's willing to destroy his own reputation, subvert American government, and commit crimes. Why? In order to help Donald Trump, his new love, hide his criminal Russian collusion. That's what they're telling you. It's ridiculous. It's insane. But they tell you a lot of things like that. With remarkable frequency, the people who are supposed to be the most impressive in our society fall for hoaxes that no normal person would ever believe. Jussie Smollett's transparently bogus hate crime. A dozen more just like it in the past two years. The fake Duke rape case. The even faker UVA fraternity rapes. The Cummington High School kids. 
They hated American Indians. Weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. The fraudulent FDA food pyramid that helped make America fatter and less healthy. Eat more breakfast cereal. That'll slim me down. They bought all of this and much more without even pausing. When creepy porn lawyer told them that Brett Kavanaugh was a sex criminal, they believed him. Then they told us the creepy porn lawyer would make a good president. These are the people who brag about how much they revere science. We're the party of science. And at the same time insist that you can change your biological sex by wishing it so. Forty years ago, these same people warned us a new ice age was coming. Now they shriek about global warming. They will literally believe anything. On the left, the Enlightenment is over. Superstition reigns in its place. This is what happens when conventional religion, the ones we all mock, die. People who say, oh, I'm secular, just find something even more implausible to believe in and impose on the rest of us, but with way less self-awareness and therefore far more dangerously.